and welcome to UIW Update for Week 8 Spring Session. I'm Andrew. The University has taken the next step towards becoming a major centre for health and medical research and training. Plans have been unveiled for a multi-million dollar hospital to complement the Graduate School of Medicine and the Health and Medical Research Institute. Natasha Apolloni reports. For years Illawarra's emergency departments have buckled due to pressure and residents have been forced to head north for specialised medical treatments. A first in Australia, the University of Wollongong has now announced it will help lighten the load with plans to build a $300 million health and medical centre. We're forming a precinct which will deliver care, health care, be a training function for us, all of our students, and actually involved in research. It will house a private hospital with 178 beds and a primary health care centre. The St Vincent's Hospital and Mater Health Sydney organisation was hand-picked to join the team as a proposed operator, assisting the university in development plans. And the fit best because they are also into it for its non-profit group, they're committed to research and teaching, and they're also committed to areas of medicine that a lot of people shy away from. Students studying in all areas of health at the University of Wollongong will be given the opportunity to be exposed to hospital systems, be given additional training and work closely with the Wollongong Hospital. Uh, it will act as an attraction for the top medical specialists in the country uh, to come to Wollongong and that will of course add to the training of our medical students here at the University of Wollongong. Around 50 new specialists are hoping to be recruited along with an increase in the GP workforce by 30 to 40 per cent. The next step will be a commitment of federal and state funding with the balance provided by UAW and private borrowings. The thing missing now is 200 million dollars so if any of the students have 200 million dollars they'd like to donate to the University of Wollongong, now's the time. Natasha Apolloni, UAW TV. Staying with health and UOW researchers are exploring the link between schizophrenia and obesity. Professor Xu Fen Huang says antipsychotic drugs used to reduce symptoms of schizophrenia can lead to weight gain and other side effects. They are suffering from uh, the diabetes, they are suffering from dyslipidemia, also many other problems. The professor explaining university research into how antipsychotic drugs disrupt the body's chemical balance and lead to people feeling hungry. We want to develop a better compound for the treatment of this disease. We're trying to remove the side effects, make the compound work even better. Schizophrenia affects one out of every 100 Australians. Commerce students looking to get ahead in the graduate world can now add an international flavour to their degree with the launch of the iConnect program. Uh, it aims to um, facilitate learning for uh, students' awareness of multicultural issues and um, international understanding. The program is an optional part of the Commerce degree with students completing 100 points of activities or contributions. If you look at other universities who don't have a program like that, uh, also students uh, have is uh, their academic results, whereas our students have academic results as well as uh, that extracurricular activities showing how they can contribute towards a multicultural society and towards a global workplace. Dean of Commerce, Professor Trevor Spedding, launching the iConnect program. I think it's important for students to get a bigger picture, to get a bigger sort of cultural experience and that will send them on the way to their first job and future jobs after that. I feel like I really want to study abroad or just do one of those volunteer um, courses for a few weeks. Yeah, it'd be great to work overseas and sort of help out. Ever had a song that you just can't get out of your head? A new UOW study is looking at how the inability to forget may be linked to obsessive compulsive disorder or OCD. So what we're looking at is whether people with OCD have what we call a sticky brain, um, so whether they have a greater potential to kind of lock on to thoughts and a reduced capacity to unglue from those thoughts. Miss Elks and her team using a computer based test to measure memory retention which is linked to compulsions and anxieties associated with the disorder. Um, there's four different tasks that participants complete um, and we're looking at them using different interstimulus intervals so they do it at different kind of speeds. Anyone between the ages of 18 and 65 interested in participating should contact the Northfields Clinic on 4221 3747. We're um, trying to recruit participants that have OCD or participants that have um, what we call generalised anxiety disorder. Um, so we're looking for people that have OCD, people that have GAD or people that don't have any history 
of anxiety or depression to be our control group. Final year students in the Faculty of Creative Arts are embracing nudity for a good cause. The annual nude auction to be held this Thursday to raise money for the graduate show at the end of the year. All the proceeds purely go towards putting on the graduate exhibition so it's a non-for-profit. You know everyone's donated their artworks for this event for us which is really generous and great. Student staff and Wollongong artists contributing works to the collection. The bare skin however limited to what's hanging on the walls. There's a little bit of nudity in the artworks depending on what type of artwork there are. The nude auction will be held on Thursday at 12.30 in Building 25. It follows a busy postgraduate week in the Faculty of Creative Arts. We had uh, about 12 first year reviews and then we had a number of um, guest, guest speakers and, and performances. We had two exhibition openings, we had a print forum, so we sort of scattered those activities throughout the, the three days. And handmade was the order of the day at Craftoon Delights. Students selling a variety of items including jewellery, buttons and other arts and craft on the Duck Pond lawn. We want to give students an opportunity to sell their own handmade things. So we've always had market days here but it's not necessarily things that were made by hand and this is an opportunity for students to get out, make things and sell their own stuff and get recognised for it. And that's UIW Update for Week 8 Spring Session. Don't forget it's Coffee for a Cause Week where, thanks to UIW Cares, Buying five coffees puts you in the running to win your very own coffee machine and support the UAW Equity Fund. I'm Andrew Moon and from the UAW TV team, have a great week.